Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 14 of Let's Play Classic Mario World 3 The Finale, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, let's go to Fiery Devastation, which has the most joyful music outside of it, which is weird. Oh, oh god! This is just downright evil! Hmm. Oh, this is music from, like, Donkey Kong Country 2. Like, when you're inside the ship, and you're either swimming in water, or there's lava or something? Whoever thought they'd use this track here? When you're outside? This is a track you'd usually hear while you're inside. Oh god, Panzers are in this level. That's a hell of a lot of fireballs you'd have to dodge at one time. Oh god, this is... this is almost like hell on Earth. I'd really hate to deal with so many potobos going on at the same time. Like some of them just going off really fast. I felt that might have been a bad idea to make this kind of jump. But we managed to survive. Oh, oh my god! That's a new thing for spinies! At least you can still kill them with your tail. That has not changed. But that is a... Very different mechanic for an attack. Oh god, that, that's frightful. Okay, you can kill panzers with shells. I thought there were gonna be like one of those enemies that could be immune to them. I actually thought I was gonna get hit there for some strange reason. Which would have been a very nasty trap. Oh, I kinda figured it was a matter of time I get hit eventually. Wait! Oh, okay, I was thinking, did the fireball die jumping into lava? When lava is basically, like, liquid fire? I'm pretty sure I pissed off a lot of biologists saying that, but, <laughs> it could be true. All things considered. I mean, basically, if you touch lava, it feels like very, very hot fire. Which, you know, let's be honest, you'll probably won't be feeling anything after a while. Depending on what part of you is in the lava. Like, you put your hand in there, like, it would hurt for a while. Like, you would feel it very badly. And then, like, sometime, uh, I don't know, like, if you dip your head in lava, you'll just die. Bonsai Hilltop Trap. Sure. Let's go to 6-7 after, you know, before doing the rest of World 6. <laughs> Apparently, this song is in Sonic 3D Blast. I thought it was in Sonic 3, but I was wrong. Oh, God. This is a vine, isn't it? Yeah. This, has a, this game has a lot of vines. The classic Mario World series tends to have a lot of them. Like, the hacker has his niche style of level design. Which, I will admit, is really good. I can't stress that enough. His level design is pretty cool. Okay, what do I do with this? Okay, there is a floor here. I was kind of worried that there wouldn't be. Oh, jeez, why so many bullet bills? How do I manage to get out of there? That was frightening. Oh, okay, I, I was thinking, you know what, maybe I should duck because I might get hit instantly, but, uh, I guess it's fine. That was a bit awkward. I think I gotta get up there somehow. This'll help. Beautiful. Uh, is there a Yoshi coin up here, though? Yes, there is. So, I guess it's time for us to press onward. That was dumb, by the way. So, let's try not to do that again. Man, there's bullets everywhere. This is scary. It's like a war zone. Oh, no, 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 oh! Well... I was gonna say, like, you know, maybe I won't save it right away, like, after getting that checkpoint, because I'm not gonna die that quickly. And sure enough, I do. 
you know, if war zones had, like, uh, bullets with faces on them. That's a pretty scary war zone. That's the stuff they don't want to tell you about in, uh, history books. Especially if you can do something like that. That was a pretty weird way to kill a bullet. Oof. Thought that was gonna get me, too. Okay, I'm still missing two coins. I would like to get them as quickly as possible. Uh, I got an idea. Okay, we do that, but then we just go back enough to make sure that the platforms return. There, that's how it's done. I wanted to get it going from left to right, but I could not swing that that way. So I don't want to just go the opposite direction to ensure that I don't die. Again. <laughs> Alright, so far so good. This level can be pretty scary if you deal with all the bullets at once. I thought I was going to get hit there. These new hitboxes on these things are not ideal. Well, what do you expect me to do about that? There are bullets everywhere. It's just like an NRA show. I mean, come on now. I've never been to an NRA show. Snake Block Castle. So, my ignorance is clearly showing. <laughs> well, if you're aware about it, you can make excuses. So, let's move on. Let's go to Math Womp Mines. Capitalization is a bit weird. Um, uh, yeah? We'll go left first. Let's see what this does for us. Oh, that's just for a coin. Well, I ain't even mad. I would've wanted to get it anyway. Wait, wait a minute. All of a sudden, we're in a different area. I hope I didn't miss a coin just going this way first. Oh, god, these swamps really are mad. Oh my god, there's like swamps everywhere. Ugh! Kinda figure they put a one up there. Okay, I gotta do my vine climbing a little bit trickier. Oh, jeez. For that to go down, oh god. This is scary. <laughs> it's just so intimidating, especially if they like start from the bottom and then go up. Well, that was short lived. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need you. I bet you I'll need the P switch to do this. Aha! Not as much. Now, we just need to return. I think I should wait for that to wear off. There we go. Let's see what's in this. Oh, good, a leaf. I believe in the leaf! <laughs> Clever punniness. That's just how I roll. You know what? I kind of miss these message boxes. I'm gonna poke fun of the English again. Nope, not the British English, but... Some blocks are hidden over the thwimps ahead. You must hit them to climb and pass the wall. Okay, that actually was not too bad. Hey! Why would you make that kind of thing happen? So I need these invisible blocks to get through the wall. Okay. Oh god. It's gonna be hard to tell, like, where the blocks are. But I think I know about these two, specifically. It's gonna be so hard to, like, find the right spot to jump to. But, at least we made it past this part. Don't tell me I missed a coin. Oh my god, there's like four thwimps. 
That's a little excessive. Actually, that's very excessive. Can't go on that pipe, apparently. That was just the ultimate tease. Okay, there's the last coin. So I'm glad to get a Yoshi here. You cannot eat the wimps. I was kind of hoping you could. Is there anything good up here? Uh, it's not worth leaving my Yoshi behind for. I can find another way to get up there. Can I? Is it really needed? I don't think it's needed. I think I will just continue on going right. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go now. Kill everything here. Even though it's practically irrelevant to what I need to do. I even block that off. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just go in. Wow, well, we're done with this level already. Cool. We're making some progress. Pink Woody Lands. Woody Land just sounds like the name of a very terrible erotic film. It only just gets worse. <laughs> um, something tells me that these uh, coins are there for a specific purpose. Well, there is a secret exit, so if we find a P-switch, I mean, all we have to do is just go back. And then, watch the key. Which is right here. That was pretty simple. Eh, yeah, spit it out in midair. Why not? And now we'll go back. That secret exit was way too easy to find. I don't know. Yeah, I should go back there, because I do need another leaf anyway. There. Now I just have one of each. Okay, now let's just look for all the coins in the regular exit, and we're good to go. Why am I going back here? Well, there were, like, other coins. But there was something over this way, too. God, these, uh... These spinies that do that kind of jump? Oh, no! Yoshi! Oh, come on! Like, could I, like, hit that? Alternatively, you can use a silver P-switch to get that, that Yoshi coin, if you didn't have a regular Yoshi. Oh god, these guys throw up a bombs? Uh, I don't know how I feel about this part. I should just get out of here while I can. I've never seen Lakitu's just throw up a bombs like that. That is definitely something new, and something scary. Oh good, we got another Yoshi. Now, let's just be on the lookout for that last coin. Oh god, this guy's back again. Oh, that was a load of crap! <laughs> hey! Let me, let me get through here, will ya? Was that P-Switch even necessary? I'm pretty sure I can still get this coin. Damn it, berries! I'm trying to get the Lakitu! Oh, you can't get that Lakitu. Unless you do that. Okay. Fair enough. Well, that was dumb. Uh, let's do this again. Losing progress. I'm telling ya. Oh, I like it too. It comes back. It does. I mean, it does. Good. I got an idea. There! That's one way to get rid of that jabroni. Now, what happens if you just go all the way to the left with this? 
There's something hidden up here? No. Okay. Let's just run as fast as we can with this. See what happens. <gasps> you know what? Screw it. We don't really need that Yoshi that badly. I did not mean to do that. I'm gonna see how far I can go with this. Oh! I did not need that uh, P-Switch for anything important. Okay, so why was it even there? I felt that that was just wasting my time. Molten Fortress! Alright, let's go. Oh dear lord, this music. Oh, this is definitely from Crash 1. I remember this. Was it like the, uh, Toxic Waste level? I think it was Toxic Waste, yeah. I remember this being a very bitchin' track when I first heard it. This is the first time I've ever heard it in a Mario hack as well. Like, I'm noticing a trend. Wow, in this hack. Like, there's a hell of a lot of Donkey Kong Country music, Final Fantasy music, and... Chrono Trigger music, and Crash Bandicoot music. Some Sonic music, too. Which is pretty awesome. Potobo's not awesome. Uh, oh, I should not have done that. Like, as soon as I left, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get hit, aren't I? Yep, and I did. Okay, Yoshi coins are spread pretty far apart. Not that it's a bad thing, but it's further than usual. Okay, we should just go. Don't go too fast, though. You're eventually gonna hit those. I guess I just keep the platform on screen. Otherwise, rely on potable jumping. I thought that one was actually gonna hit me right in the ass. Oh, why is the jumping sound effect sound so weird? What the hell? Um, maybe I should not fully commit to that pathway yet. Because it looks like it just allows me to continue. Which is nice, but I, I want to know what's beyond here. I know- Wow. It did not work the way I wanted it to this time. But, it could have been a hell of a lot worse. Right, let's just try going all the way through this time. Can, can I go in here? No. Okay, good, good. There's a good thing that I did decide to reload, because I would have missed that Yoshi coin. That would have been embarrassing to have to redo the entire stage, eventually, just because I missed that one coin. I should just keep moving, yeah. Oh god. This is looking even more hazardous by the day. And by day, I mean second. <laughs> My concept of time is starting to mess up if I had to make tricks like tricky jumps like this. Yeah, don't even try it. I know what you were gonna do. I think that's the last coin, right? Yeah, it is the last coin. I'm gonna wait for the lava to go back down. Try not to do anything too stupid. There we go. Get in there. Huh, they actually give you a tail for this. Weird that a boss battle would start in an auto-scroller. Or maybe the boss battle is the auto-scroller. Fry guy! I think I fought you before in a Mario hack. Not with a bullet bill going on, though. Oh, 
How many shots do you take? That many. Oh god. I don't remember that part where he actually splits up to a smaller flame like in Mario 2. Not in a hack at least. That was new. Super Koopa Bridge. You know, as opposed to regular Koopa Bridge. They also call it cribbage, apparently. <laughs> Are bridge and cribbage just different games? I feel like they're... No, they're the same. I feel they're the same. If I'm wrong, I mean, uh, who cares, really? Maybe people that are very passionate about Bridge, which I'm not. The only thing I like about bridges is they allow me to cross, like, uh, I don't know, bodies of water or whatever. And I've hardly ever had to cross any. Well, there were a few. But not me personally. Like, me and a few friends used to go on this little nature walk, like, last summer. And there was a bridge that we had to cross. And then when you look down, I mean, you can definitely see, like, the, uh, the river. Or the stream. And then you just look down and you're like, oh my god. If you had vertigo, you'd be absolutely messed up. I don't have vertigo, by the way. But some friends that I know are, have like this little bit of a anxiety of like, what if you actually fall off? It's like, hey, let's rock the bridge and just, you know, scare them off or something. Well, like, we don't actually do that. We talk about it as a joke. But we never actually did it because, you know, we're not assholes or anything. Let's just put that in perspective right now. Huh. I didn't think I could actually hit that uh, block from that range. There we go. So far, so good. Definitely gonna get all the coins here. Lots of places where you can just get regular coins. Feeling a lot, a lot like a Super Mario Maker stage, you know, that does not get voted very well because it feels like an actual stage. No, they want the stages that are like, don't move. Or, you know, just get a star and kill like 30,000 enemies at once. You know, like Super Mario Holocaust Maker or something. That, that's, that's a terrible comparison, but I'm just saying, like, just exterminate a whole bunch of things at once in a matter of seconds. And then finish the level. That was literally the levels that tend to be upvoted a lot in Mario Maker. And that is just sad. It's like they don't care about creativity. Like, really now. Oh god. Some of the uh, platforms don't have the uh, end spots. Okay, now we just gotta finish. Guy really loves to give you, like, free one-ups. Huh. <laughs> oh, thanks. Much appreciated. You give me a tail, and you'll let me kill an enemy. It's like the best of both worlds. At least I'm not gonna get a Yoshi here at some point. Because I'd really like to get one. Ah, I beat ya. Okay, I thought I was gonna make a big mistake doing that. But I didn't. We're fine. There we go. We should be pretty close to the end of the stage. Oh, God. These lives remind me. I really need to get some donuts, because I haven't had any in a while. Probably not now. Maybe... Eh, maybe I will get some tonight or tomorrow. But in any case, that's neither here nor there. In the next episode, we're going to be doing the Coin Hunter. Nothing to do with Dog the Bounty Hunter. Though I'm sure he gets a fair share of coin. Or the coin. Goodbye, everyone.